So here's an image of the power jack on the board. You can see there's a gray lead there at the bottom. There are actually four of those entirely. So here's another image. And here's what I believe is the replacement jack. So you can see that there are four pins on the back there and you'll have to desolder each one of those pins in order to remove it. Okay, I'm not 100% certain these are the proper jacks, but I'm pretty certain they are. And I'm gonna put a link in the description for you so you can find where to buy them. So here's a cross section of the power jack. So there'll be three leads coming through the board and you're gonna to need to heat those up with a soldering iron and then use something like this. This is a solder sucker. They're pretty cheap. You can get them at Radio Shack at a good price. And there's actually four leads coming through the board. So this is the configuration, I believe. So yeah, you'll have to heat each of those up and remove the solder. You may need to do that multiple times. But once you've done that, you should be able to pull the jack down and put the new one in and then just solder those four leads back in. And you should be up and running. Hopefully that works. Best of luck.